Racing is, uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's a mentally tough sport, you know. You struggle with making sure that you're doing everything you can on your end uh, to be in the spot, to be competitive and win races. And it's three days a week, we're at the track, we're in a different state and, um, and, and moving around a lot. I mean, the bus is really important for us. We're gone 38 weekends a year almost. I mean, it's, it's our second home. We spend, you know, just as many days almost in the bus as what we do at our houses. So it's important to have something you're comfortable in. I wake up and um, from there, you know, take Oscar out, feed him breakfast. Uh, I eat pretty light breakfast, usually a, some kind of protein shake or something. Uh, and then from there we go into meet and greets. We've got, you know, a lot of sponsors to occupy uh, from our primary sponsor that weekend, whoever it may be, to also some secondaries. You know, being in NASCAR now in, in the Cup Series at the top level was an adjustment uh, for me in, in 2017. Um, there's so many things that, that come along with racing that you don't realize until you're there. Um, you know, between sponsor uh, requirements, team requirements, uh, what it takes, you know, just from a, a personal standpoint of managing your time. Those things are all really important that you don't really realize until you're actually at the cup level. There are things you learn along the way and, and it's definitely different than what you, you see it as from the outside looking in. It looks very glamorous and very, uh, very easy uh, watching, you know, guys like Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, um, were the guys that were really dominant in my childhood. Watching them race and, and wanting to be a part of that and wanting to be in that series was my main goal. But once you're in it for yourself, it's very different. So we got a little bit of time before driver's meeting uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll head uh, back to the bus, eat a little bit of lunch, pretty light lunch, usually chicken, something like that, something that's not gonna be heavy during the race. And a lot of time there's, there's friends or family hanging around the track too at the bus. Um, so it's nice to spend some time with them before the race. That's a little bit of time that we really get to spend, um, you know, laughing, talking about the race, whatever we got. I got Oscar a year ago, um, back in, in June of 2017. He's been good. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a whole new responsibility having a dog, but uh, having a dog at the racetrack is nice. I mean, he's uh, you know he's he's my buddy. He hangs out, and um, you know at, at night when you're chilling at the track and it's just me and him, it's nice to have some. Uh, you know, have some company at the track, and, and at the end of the day, you know, he's going to be happy to see you, uh, whether you win or whether you finish dead last. So that's uh, that's the nice thing about a dog is they don't care what happens during the day; they still think you're the best person in the world. From there, I think it, it really goes into preparation for the race. We got a little bit of time before drivers' meeting. And then we'll uh, we'll head uh, back to the bus, uh, get dressed, get race suit on, everything ready to go, and, uh, and head out to the intros after that. Say bye to Oscar, and uh, head on out.
getting in the car is the last, last time you really get to think about the race. I mean, you're thinking about it when you're out there, but it's the last time you can run through the whole thing in your head. Um, kind of the car you got, how you're going to go about the initial start of the race, you just your expectations for the day. You know, a lot of times you know going into it kind of what kind of car you have and uh, whether it's going to be a day where you're going to have to fight to run top 10 or whether it's going to be a day where you're going to be fighting for the win. So that's the, you know, the mindset you're trying to get yourself in, whatever you've got for that day. Being at Joe Gibbs Racing is, is a place where you can win races and be competitive each and every week. So you, you struggle with making sure that you're doing everything you can on your end uh, to be in the spot to be competitive and win races. We'll fight hard all day. I think we got a pretty decent long red car, so let's stick with it. Work our way up there. Have a good race here. Just going over everything you're supposed to remember to do before the green flag goes out. Get ready. Ready. Slow, slow, slow. Green, green, green. All rolling here. Rolling. When the race gets going, obviously there's so many challenges that, that come throughout the race that you know, you can't prepare for, whether it's penalties or handling issues. You're, you're trying your best to work through those problems, but uh, as a driver, it can be frustrating having a four or 500 mile race where you have issues to, uh, you know, to be the best guy out there. I'm Eric Jones, and this is all I've ever wanted.